Uh, Mark Franz, uh, accounts payable manager with Energizer Battery uh, out of St. Louis, Missouri. Well, for Energizer, we've been scanning invoices since 2003, but other than that, we really didn't uh, take it to the next level. Uh, very inefficient processes uh, as far as sending out approvals via email, waiting for the emails to come back. Uh, so we spent a lot of time uh, was being wasted managing emails back and forth. Uh, also a lot of keying errors were being made which led us to having to do a 100% audit of all of our invoices which is an inefficient waste of our time as well. Um, so those are really the key driving factors why we went to uh, invoice automation. Well initially we looked a lot at the ROI. Our company's big into ROI as is every big company. Uh, initial targets were to keep something in the neighborhood of around 12 months or less. Mm -hmm. uh, initially I gotta say is our target was to bring in our three remaining battery facilities um, into St. Louis. We had already been processing for all our other US facilities except the three major battery facilities. So initially out of the gate the ROI wasn't good enough uh, but then shortly thereafter, we acquired Playtex products. And with the additional head count, as far as moving about 11 to 12, 11 to 15 actually um, bodies out of the mix and bringing all that work into St. Louis, the ROI was, was definitely meted and exceeded in a very short time frame. So you would say that you've met your goals? Oh, yeah, we surpassed and exceeded our goals. Upper management is, is very happy with the results and obviously the efficiencies that the whole automation brings to the AP area. We had actually a couple different challenges. As, as we were just bringing in Playtex products, we had just purchased Playtex products, and with Playtex, they are on kind of an uh, uh, older system, uh, very archaic. Uh, so we are bringing them not only up on SAP, but then also up on SAP or up on Readsoft at the same time. Uh, they also had to deal with a lot of other systems within the Energizer uh, household, such as you know electronic time approvals and everything else. So they had a lot on their plate just learning the systems and, and knowing how Energizer operates. In addition to teaching them Readsoft, uh, also we we actually process out of two SAP systems. Uh, Energizer has both the Energizer household products division which everybody's familiar with as far as the batteries and the chargers and and all and the portable power devices and then we also have a personal care side of the business which is the Schick Wilkerson sword the Playtex products um, and those even though we process in SAP for both of those uh, all the invoices for those two branches or, or divisions uh, they are definitely in two different SAP boxes so with Readsoft, we had to implement two invoice cockpits, one in each box, and then the one box feeds into the other box, and that's where all the payments are made out of. Well, the efficiency gains and the reduction of headcount, and I mean reduction of headcount not in St. Louis, but um, with Playtex, we had 11 to 12 people up there that were processing invoices, and we absorbed that work into St. Louis. Uh, we had an additional two to three down at our Hawaiian Tropic facility down in, our, in, in Ormond Beach, Florida. And then we had additional individuals in our three battery plants that we absorbed into St. Louis. And when we first started out, we actually had seven full-time employees and one temp prior to Readsoft. We absorbed probably about 60,000 more invoices in-house uh, just with the Playtex and an additional 40,000 invoices in-house. So we basically doubled our workload in-house and we only had to add one additional full-time employee. So that was a huge success where now we have eight full-time employees uh, plus myself being the manager of the department where we had seven FTEs and one temp. With the invoice processors, it's, it's good to see the invoice processors, they've turned more into analytical positions versus just keying. Uh, very repetitious as you know with data entry. Uh, very cumbersome, somewhat boring. Uh, now they, they seem to be more uh, fulfilled in their job responsibilities. They're more, in, they're more or less in there day in and day out resolving the issues and not wasting the time and letting the system populate all the data where they used to have to manually key punch it. We have facilities, as you're probably aware, all across the world. Um, we have people that visited us from our United Kingdom facility as well as our Germany facility. 
and both those individuals at two separate time frames took a look at our at the Reedsoft system that we had really uh, thought it was something neat uh, and they were actively pursuing putting it in or actually investigating putting in at their facilities and had contact with uh, the international sales rep over overseas. The biggest piece of advice is to make sure from the get-go that you have all the parties that are affected by the system involved. Uh, purchasing being a key and you can't can't forget about internal audit and your socks department and all that. Uh, but really getting purchasing buy-in because you have to work hand-in-hand -hand with the purchasing department that helps reinforce the solution. Um, that was one big driving success fact that led to our success is getting them in, uh, involved from the get-go. Um, we actually had a purchasing individual come with us and do our training uh, so all the plants could see that purchasing was indeed uh, involved in the whole process. Uh, don't underestimate the cultural change. Even though the system is extremely user-friendly, people, as you are aware, have a resistance to change. So what we found was very helpful was to uh, assign a point person at each of our facilities to kind of be the super user. That gave the people at the facilities a person that they actually knew personally to go to if they had any questions. Uh, and if that person couldn't answer them, then they would come to us here in St. Louis to answer them. So it gave them a comfort level, plus it also warded off any negative um, remarks or, or, or feelings towards the system because this person was able to take care of their problems as soon as possible or, or right then and there and so they didn't have a long time to think about it. They, they just resolved them and moved on. Right, they had access to information. So. Correct, so, so don't, don't underestimate that. Uh, another piece of advice that I would, I would give too is a lot of one-on-one -on -one training we did. Uh, and it seemed more receptive. I've done both the live meeting and the one-on-one -on -one training and, and the people are more receptive to one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, up, up front and personal. The other companies should definitely look into document uh, automation and streamlining internal processes because um, you have to do that not only to remain competitive but as, as everybody's aware accounts payable is not really making or not viewed as making the company any money. Uh, you know it's a necessary evil to, to, to restate it bluntly. Um, so to prove that you can do things more efficiently cost-effective um, by reducing headcount and, and, and non-value-added tasks definitely keeps you competitive and, and keeps upper management aware that you're doing everything you can to streamline and keep costs down.